Hey guys, how's it going? Duty Rhino here. Takashi69, the arrogant little multicolored unicorn looking motherfucker who is terrible at rapping, has openly mocked his own lyrics saying that they are utter dog shit yet people seem to lap it up, is facing 32 years to life in prison. After gloating and boasting that he is untouchable, he is most definitely not untouchable. In fact, in the near future, he's going to be touched an awful lot by a lot of men. Big scary, rapey men. As if that isn't justice enough for his music. But before we get into all that, what is allegedly done and how long he's going to be going down for and all that juicy stuff and how the fuck he's going to survive in prison. Spoilers, he isn't. Apparently, to add insult to injury, Dummy Boy, his big label album release has been leaked, which is really, really bad for him because that means he is hemorrhaging money that people would have for some reason spent on buying the piece piece of shit. Rather than buying it, it's been leaked online, it's there, everyone can access it. I, I haven't personally, I don't care enough to listen to it, but the point is, this has cost Takashi69, Daniel Hernandez, hundreds of thousands of dollars, which would probably come in handy when he needs to pay for all the legal fees in all the trials that he's got coming up. Because apparently his net worth is only around $4 million. And when you see how expensive legal fees are, especially in America, that's not going to stretch too far, especially the kind of shit that he's up against. So the fact that Dummy Boy is leaked, apparently, allegedly, possibly, maybe by one of the producers who earlier in the week put on Instagram, I have the album, should I? And then later deleted it. All the speculation is that that guy leaked it. His name being Murder Beats with, with an A, M-U-R-D-A, and Beats, of course, of course, with a Z. Um, apparently, Dummy Boy spans 13 tracks, features contributions from Kanye West, Nicki Minaj, Gunna, Lil Baby, there's so many Lils, man, it's a fucking joke, and uh, this is my favourite, Bobby Schmurder, Bobby Schmurder, S-H, S-H, Murder, again with an A, of course, who himself is sitting behind bars at the moment. So, Takeshi69 is apparently facing multiple federal accounts, uh, including racketeering, conspiracy to commit murder and drug distribution. This is all because he's in a gang or apparently, allegedly, possibly, maybe affiliated with a gang called Tray Nine Bloods, I think it was. And essentially, the racketeering is like a mafia thing. So, so it's basically because he's affiliated with the gang Therefore, he is responsible for, for the things that they do. But, I mean, there is footage of him at, like, armed robberies and stuff because the geese has got multicoloured fucking hair. But the thing is, they're also going to try and get him with a Rico. Now, I had no idea what any of this bollocks was before I looked into this video. A Rico is actually quite interesting. Basically, what that is is you get the people in the gang that are like underneath him or not as high profile, which is basically everyone. When it comes to high profile, Daniel is well up there. Basically, if they get him and send him down, the lawyers that send him down are looking at promotions and it'll be very good for their careers. So they're going to try get him with a Rico. What's a Rico? So the people underneath, they basically go to him and say, look, you're fucked. You're going away for a long time. Unless you give us 6-9. If you testify against this man, we will reduce your sentence or we'll give you a plea bargain and all that good stuff will make your life a lot easier and maybe even get you out onto the streets to sell more heroin. But as long as we get 6-9, who cares? So that's what a Rico is, right? You get the ones underneath to pull the legs away from the table, bring the table crashing down of which 6 9 is currently eating at. So that is why 6 9 is more fucked than perhaps he would be if he wasn't so high profile, because these lawyers are gonna use his case to better themselves and, and to promote themselves and, and further their careers. Fair enough, he seems like a bit of a piece of shit. The dude's a nonce. 
He's, he's pled guilty to like sexual assault of a 13 year old or something. Basically, there was a video going around. He was like spanking this chick or some shit while the chick was doing some sort of oral on it on his mate, and she was 13. So the dudes are nonce, and nonces don't last very long in prison. <laughs> You know, of all, you know, you can question the morals of serial killers and murderers and all the rest of it, but nonces, they can't stand them, yeah? So Takeshi, when his money runs out and all of his protection runs out, the dude is so fucked because he's a nonce. This guy is beyond fucked. Beyond fucked. I mean, I'm pretty sure to... To people that are in prison for the whole lives, you know, the ones that sort of like turn to loving men, you know, they see a young piece come in and they're like, okay, but they see a young piece with fluorescent different coloured hair, they're probably like, damn, I, I, I'm looking forward to him dropping the soap, do you know what I mean? So, I think the future is rather bleak for our, for our arrogant uh, Takeshi69, and, and as a 22 year old, Facing 32 to life, I really, oh, oh, do you know what I mean? I'd definitely get my hair cut. I'd, I'd definitely at least get it dyed a regular colour. Probably lose the multicoloured teeth. Um, that would probably be a start for sure. But the main thing is, this dude is going down for a long time. And he is fucked. Basically, that's that's all I have to say. It's it's something that uh, interested me a lot because from the outside, I haven't really listened to much of his music. I kind of respected him a little bit when he said like his own lyrics are shit, and he literally walked into a sound booth and just spat a load of crap out, and then it's now a song that that people enjoy. I was like, at least he's self-aware, you know, because that is the best way to be. But the thing is. He is an arrogant little twat in, 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 a, in a genre, like mumble rap and all that sort of stuff. It's just like, nah, no, nah, no. So, I'm not saying I'm glad he's going away for life because of his music. <laughs> I'm glad he's going away for life because obviously he is a piece of shit, you know, gang related armed robbery, murder and fucking sh drugs and heroin and also he's not a very he's not good for society so buzz in you know if you know allegedly possibly maybe these things that is possibly maybe allegedly done he's going away for a long time so what do you guys think are you a fan of takashi 69 if so unsub but if you are let us know down in the comments we want to hear your thoughts as we always do what do you think about this whole thing were you shocked were you like my beloved takashi Takashi, what have you done? I can't, I can't live on without your music. Yeah, at least you got one album left to to get through before he's completely gone. You know, so it is what it is. But failing that, if he gets the minimum sentence, see you when you're 54, mate. You know, I'll be 56. Uh, so hopefully, I'll still be about. And I'll be like, oh, I remember that dickhead. Yeah, yeah, I did a video about him. Yeah, but that's it guys, I'm literally waffling now, do you know what I mean? But I'm trying to get it to 10 minutes, oh shit, 9 minutes 5, we're nearly there. Now I'm joking, by the time I've edited all this, we're probably down to like 7, it's not worth even trying to get to 10 minutes, even for the ad revenue. But that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, we really fucking appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. Like, share and subscribe, it helps us out. We've got merch. We got channel memberships, all that good stuff. Patreon, if you want to become a patron, helps support us in a massive, massive way. Helps me do what I absolutely love on a daily basis. But if you don't want to do that, if you can't afford to do that, it's not a problem. Just tune in, like, share, and subscribe. That's all I ask. Oh, and hit that notification bell as well. That helps us out. Legends, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.